after a deadly border clash. China blames India, so Indians are fighting back by saying no to Chinese goods. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. You should be using a VPN like Surfshark to protect yourself whenever you go online. So, the Indian government has suspended three major business deals with China, worth more than $600 million. And people there are boycotting products made in China. It comes after the most serious border clash between China and India in four decades. Chinese troops had set up a tent along the border, which is more like a disputed area than an actual line in the dirt. And it was part of a slow encroachment that China's been doing here for years. Here's the Chinese outpost on May 22nd. Here it is a month later, way bigger. On June 15th, Indian soldiers found that Chinese soldiers were not retreating from a disputed area as previously agreed. Instead, they were building structures. That led to an hours-long battle in the dark of night that left 20 Indian soldiers dead and many Chinese soldiers dead as well. India and China have now agreed to pull back and disengage so they don't accidentally start World War III. And that's good. Except now, China is all like, well, the entire thing was India's fault. The responsibility is completely on the Indian side. Plus, China is now demanding that Indian troops withdraw from the area. Now, from satellite images, it doesn't look like it's the Indian troops that are doing the real heavy building in the area. So basically, the Chinese regime is saying, all this can be resolved peacefully, as long as you give me your wallet and your cell phone and your firstborn child. Well, the people of India aren't having any of it. Across India, people are calling to boycott China. And it's more than just a boycott of Chinese products. Gathering the Chinese products from their homes and setting them on fire, burning effigies of President Xi Jinping along with the Chinese flag. Boycott China protests are a big deal because China is India's largest trading partner. India's bilateral trade with China was worth nearly $80 billion in 2019. Chinese firms have plowed huge investments into some of India's most iconic tech brands, such as the ride-hailing service Ola, a fintech company Paytm, food delivery app Zomato, and e-commerce platform Flipkart. So boycotting Chinese products is no mean feat. Just think about the smartphones everyone has. Chinese smartphones are everywhere in India. Even American smartphone companies like Apple manufacture their phones in China. So if the boycotts get serious, people will have to go back to actually having to talk to other people again. <sighs> Meanwhile, Chinese goods are piling up at Indian ports as the country tightens customs inspections. And the government has asked online retailers to show the country of origin for the products they sell. But while some say it's not feasible to completely boycott Chinese products, they also say that India should try to cut its dependence on Chinese imports. Ah yes, the great untold story of 2020. Supply chain. But if the anti-Chinese Communist Party protests continue, I have one suggestion. Stop buying Chinese goods, fine. But try not to actually burn stuff made in China. You have no idea what you might be breathing in. And this episode has been sponsored by Surfshark, which, don't worry, is not made in China. But if you are in China, or any country that tries to restrict what you can see online, you should be using a VPN, like Surfshark, to protect your identity. Another cool thing about using a VPN is that you can access websites that are only available in other countries. Like, let's say I've got you thinking about India, and now you want to watch Gandhi, the 1982 movie starring Ben Kingsley. But you can't get it on Netflix in the US. No problem. Use Surfshark 
to switch your location to the Netherlands, refresh, and there it is. In fact, there's tons of TV shows and movies that you can only watch if you're logged into Netflix in another country by using a VPN like Surfshark. Try out Surfshark now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And Surfshark has a special discount for China Uncensored fans. Go to Surfshark.com uncensored and use the code uncensored to get 85% off a two-year plan and three extra months for free. Click the link below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.